So now let's move on to the second example. In this example, we are going to solve the given system of equations using naive Gaussian elimination method. So let's try this example as well. Now, like we did in the previous example, we first need to represent this system in the augmented form. So we are basically going to write down the coefficients of x1, x2, x3. So we have 3, negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.2 we have the vertical bar 0 0.1 7 negative 0 0.3 0 0.3 negative 0 0.2 10 and then on the right hand side we have 7.85 negative 19.3 we have 71 0.4. Now, after representing this system in an augmented form, the first thing we need to do is to do forward elimination. That is where we are going to reduce this system to an upper triangular system so that we have these three values going to zero. Now, we need to understand that as we did in the previous example, the forward elimination is a two in one step. That is, the first step ensures that we have these two values going to zero and the second step ensures that we have this value going to zero so let's first of all begin with the first part of the forward elimination step that is where we are going to consider row one as the pivot row and then three as the pivot element so that we want to make these two values go to zero so to make 0 0.1 go to zero it means that we are going to perform elementary row operation on row 2. And what is the operation? Now, to make this value go to 0, we simply multiply row 1. Okay, we simply multiply this row, that is row 1, by 0 0.1 over 3. 0 0.1 over 3. Now, the first element for row 1 is 3. So, assuming we have a 3 here, so if this is 3, then we multiply row 1 by 0 0.1 over 3. 3 cancels out 3. And then we have 0 0.1 left. So we subtract that value, this new value, from row 2. And then you realize that because these two values are the same, we have a 0. Therefore, the elementary row operation for row 2, or that is being applied on row 2, is basically 0 0.1 over 3 that is 0 0.1 over 3 times row 1 and then we subtract that from row 2 similarly to make 0 0.3 also go to 0 we are going to perform elementary row operation on row 3 and then the operation is we are going to multiply row 1 by 0 0.3 over 3 so if you multiply row 1 by 0 0.3 over 3 we have the first element for row 1 to be 3. 3 cancels out 3. We subtract the results from row 3 and they realize that we have 0. So that is also going to be 0 0.3 over 3 times row 1. We subtract the results from row 3. Now notice that the reason why we want to multiply 0 0.1 over 3, 0 0.3 over 3 by row 1 is that row 1 is the pivot row so we are going to obtain a new augmented matrix a new augmented matrix where row 1 remains the same so we have 3 negative 0 0.1 negative 0 0.2 and then we have 7.85 on the right hand side now we effect changes to row 2 and row 3 so for row 2, we have 0 0.1 over 3 times first element of row 1. So that is, we are going to consider column 1. So first element of row 1 is 3. So 0 0.1 over 3 times 3, 3 cancels out 3, we are left with 0 0.1. And then first element for row 2 is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 minus the 0 0.1 we have here, then it means that we have this value to be a 0. Next, we move on to the next column, that is the second column. We have 
7 minus 0 0.1 over 3 times negative 0 0.1 and that becomes 7.00333 notice that we need to put this value in six significant figures now we move on to the third column we have negative 0 0.3 minus 0 0.1 over 3 times negative 0 0.2 and that's going to give us negative 0 0.29333 Three, three. also in six significant figures we move on to the next column we have negative 19.3 minus 0 0.1 over 3 times 7.85 and then we also have negative 19.5617 now let's move on to row 3 also for row 3 we have considering the first column that is row 1 and then row 3 we have 0 0.3 over 3 times 3 3 cancels out 3 we are left with 0 0.3 we subtract that from the first element of row 3 which is 0 0.3 and then we have a 0 here we move on to the next column we have negative 0 0.2 minus 0 0.3 over 3 times negative 0 0.1 and thus we have negative 0 0.19 we move on to the next column we have 10 minus 0 0.3 over 3 times negative 0 0.2 and that becomes 10.02 now to the last column we have 71.4 minus 0 0.3 over 3 times 7.85 and then we also have 70.6150 70 70.6150 so this is the results after doing the first part of the forward elimination step now let's move on to the second part of the forward elimination step so with this we are going to consider row 2 as the pivot row this is the pivot row and then we consider this element as the pivot element which means that we want to make the value below 7.00333 which is this go to zero now to make this go to zero we perform elementary row operations on row 3 we perform elementary row operations on row 3 so we perform that on row 3 literally it's supposed to be here but then there's no space and what is the operation the operation is that we are going to multiply negative 0 0.19 over 7.00333 by row 2 so let's say we have negative 0 0.19 over 7.00333 we multiply this by row 2 second element of row 2 is 7.00333 so we realize that this cancels out this and then we are left with negative 0 0.19 now if we should subtract this value okay this value from row 3 you realize that we are going to get a zero that is negative 0 0.19 minus minus 0 0.19 this becomes a plus and then we have zero here so we are going to perform elementary row operations on row 3 and what is the operation the operation is we have negative 0 0.19 divided by so it looks like there's no space here so let me modify this so we perform the operation on row 3 and the operation is that we are going to multiply negative 0 0.19 over 7.00333 by row 2 because that is the pivot row so by row 2 and then we subtract the result from row 3 now literally because we have negative negative here it becomes positive okay so we can basically make this positive so let me just modify it here so it becomes 0 0.19 over 7.00333 by row 2 and then so it becomes positive so row 3 that is plus row 3 so we are going to obtain a new augmented matrix row 1 row 2 remains the same we have 3 
and then we move on to row 3 where we effect changes so for the first column we are going to have we have row 3 to be 0 so 0 plus this fraction times 0 is 0 we move on to the second column we are going to have negative 0 0.19 plus 0 0.19 over 7.00333 times 7.00333 so this will cancel out that we are left with 0 0.19 and then this value is negative 0 0.19 so negative 0 0.19 plus 0 0.19 is also 0 we move on to the third column that is where we have 10.02 plus 0 0.19 over 7.00333 times negative 0 0.293333 so we are also going to obtain we are also going to obtain 10.0120 and then for the last column we have 70.6150 plus 0 0.19 over 7.00333 times negative 19.5617 and then you also have 70 we have 70.0843 so this is the end of the forward elimination step we've been able to modify or transform this system into an upper triangular system where all these three values are equal to zero all these three values are equal to zero so the next step is to do back substitution. We are going to do back substitution. So for back substitution, notice that first column corresponds to x1, second column x2, third column x3. So we have 0x1 plus 0x2 plus 10.0120 x3 and that is equal to 70.0843 so we divide through by 10.0120 10.0120 because we want to find the value of x3 so this cancels out that and then this is going to give us 7.00003 so we can conclude that x3 is equal to 7 so this is the value of x3 now for row 2 we are going to put in x3 equals 7 so that is where we are going to have we are going to have 7.00333 times x2 and then minus 0.29 three 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 times x3 which is 7 and that's equal to negative 19.5617 so we transform this to the right hand side so that we are going to have on the right hand side we have negative 19.5617 plus this becomes a plus 0.29 three 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 times seven and we have on the left left hand side x2 equals we divide whatever we have on the right hand side by seven point zero zero three 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 and that's going to give us x2 equals negative two point five zero 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 one Therefore, we have x2 to be equal to negative 2.5. This is the value of x2. Now, let's move on to x1. So, to find the value of x1, we focus on row 1. And then we have 3x1 minus 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.1, 0 0.1x2 negative 2.5 minus 0 0.2 x3 which is 7 equals 7.85 
we transpose these two values to the right hand side so that we have 3x1 equals 7.85 plus 0 0.1 times negative 2.5 and then plus 0 0.2 times 7 we divide all this by 3 then we have x1 to be equal to 3 so we have x3 equals 7 x2 equals negative 2.5 and then x1 equals 3 therefore we have the solution vector x to be equal to the color matrix 3 negative 2.5 7